Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God, all praises to the Most High. So um, I know it took me a little bit long to put out this message. It should have came out a couple hours ago, but better late than never. Um, so this is the message and the word from God with a few scriptures. And it's not going to be a long video, but God said January is the month of justice, judgment, and judification. And right your wrongs make make peace with whom you need to make peace with for justice judgment and judification shall be done and that was all he said and then um he made me get some scriptures to read so you have to know that god is executing justice judgment and judification this month so people who have been done wrong they're going to get their justice and the wicked's going to get their judgment and judification will be done. So God said to right your wrongs, make peace with whom you need to make peace with, for justice, judgment, and judification shall be done. But we also know that mercy triumphs over justice. So that is a reason, you know, why God is telling you to right your wrongs, make peace with whom you need to make peace with, for justice, judgment, and judification shall be done. Now here is the scriptures. Because he says the month of January is justice, judgment, and judification. And he tells you, right your wrongs. Make peace with who you need to make peace with. For justice, judgment, and judification shall be done. Now Psalms 96 and 10. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigns. The word also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Psalms 34 and 14, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Depart from evil, do good, seek peace and pursue it. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25, destruction comes, comets, and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So don't, don't be seeking the peace of the people you wrong when your destruction comes. How is God going to show mercy on you? This is why in Psalms 34 and 14, he says, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And in this message, what did he tell you? Right your wrongs. Make peace with whom you need to make peace with. For justice, judgment, and judification shall be done. So depart from evil, do good, seek peace, and pursue it. And Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25, destruction comments, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Now, Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. Seek ye the Lord, all you meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So, in, so people who have been doing injustices against other people, you know, violence and things, corruptions and things like that, God is judging it. This, he said this whole month, is judgment just justice judgment and judification judge justice will be served for the innocent judgment upon those guilty judification amen and um now seek ye the lord all you meek of the earth which have wrought his judgment seek righteousness seek meekness it may be that you shall be hid in the day of the lord's anger so what should you be doing? Seek righteousness, seek peace, seek meekness. So you be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Now the first book of Peter chapter 3 verse 11. Let him ensue evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. Now you remember about mercy, right? Judgment chapter, I mean, sorry, James chapter 2, verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that has shown no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. Um, if you remember, um, a couple months back, God made me make a video about mercy triumphing over judgment. So you had to understand. For he shall have judgment without mercy that has shown no mercy. And mercy triumphs against judgment. So you should show mercy. 
Psalms chapter 30, verse 10. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, thou be my helper. You should be praying for mercy. And you should be righting your wrongs and making peace with who you need to make peace with. Job chapter 37, verse 32. Touching the Almighty, we cannot find him out. He is excellent in power and in judgment, and in plenty of justice he will not afflict. Psalms 89 and 14. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. So judgment, justice and judgment. Judgment, justice and judgment are the habitation of God's throne. Mercy and truth shall go before his face. Remember, tr the truth shall set you free. And if you show mercy, God will have mercy on you. Now, Psalms, but truth goes with confession. That's why it says confess your faults to one another. And if you hear God's message, he said, make right your wrongs. Make peace with who you need to make peace with. So you got to confess. Psalms 98 verse 9, be before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. So what does God come to do? Before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the world and the people with equity. Psalms 96 verse 13, before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. So you must, the truth will set you free. And he's going to judge you with his righteousness and his truth. And he's going to judge you with his equity. Psalms 96 verse 13, before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes. Oh, sorry, it was there twice. Forgive me. Psalms 9 and 8. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Now, the first book of Samuel, chapter 24, verse 15. God is judging people who have been, you know, injustices have been done against them. The Lord, therefore, be judge and judge between me and thee and see and plead my cause and deliver me out of thy hand. Psalms 7 and 8. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to the, my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. God will judge, will, will execute justice for those people who have been walking in their integrity. Isaiah chapter 56 verse 1. Thus says the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. So God tells you to keep judgment, do justice, for his salvation is near to come, and his righteousness to be revealed. Now Proverbs chapter 21 verse 3. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Now, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 28, mercy and truth preserve the king. What preserves a king? Mercy and truth. And his throne is upholded by mercy. Do you see how important mercy and truth is? Even for your judgment? The first book of Chronicles chapter 18 and 14. And he wants me to talk about King David because he was a what? He was a king. So David reigned over all Israel and executed judgment and justice among all his people. What is a king and a queen supposed to do? Execute judgment and justice among the people in righteousness. In godliness. In God's way. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 15. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. The first book of Kings, chapter 10, verse 9. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loves Israel forever. Therefore made he the king to do judgment and justice. What did God make King David to be? To do, made him a king to do what? Judgment and justice. To defend the poor, the fatherless, the needy, the afflicted the injustices, the crimes. Genesis chapter 18, verse 19. For I know him, that he will command his children and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord, 
to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. The second book The second book of Chronicles, chapter 9, verse 8. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on his throne, to be the king for the Lord thy God, because thy Lord God loved Israel, to establish them forever. Therefore made he the king over them, to do judgment and justice. Now, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 7. Of the incre increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord shall the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Psalms ninety nine verse four The king's strength also loves judgment. Thou dost establish equity, thou executes judgment and righteousness in Jacob. Now, what is a king supposed to do? Psalms 82 verse 3, defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. I, Ezekiel 45 and 9, thus says the Lord God, let it suffice you, O princes of Israel, remove violence and spoil and execute judgment and justice. Take away your exactions from my people, says the Lord thy God. So God said, I'll read his message again. And these are the scriptures he wanted me to read. January is the month of justice, judgment, and judification. Right your wrongs. Make peace with whom you need to make peace with. For justice, judgment, and judification shall be done. And I'll read Psalms 96 and 10. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigns. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. And I'll read Psalms 34 and 14 again. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. I love you, beautiful people. Stay blessed. And take this message up with fasting. Take this up with asking God yourself in prayer. And take care and stay blessed.